Does your child suffer from runny nose, blocked nose, itchiness, and sneezing? Well, it might be allergic rhinitis. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician. And in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have on a certain topic in order to help you raise happy and healthy kids. In this video, we are going to talk about allergic rhinitis. What are the causes, risk factors, how do doctors diagnose and treat this condition, as well as ways to prevent allergic rhinitis. So keep watching, all right? Allergic rhinitis in children. Allergic rhinitis is an allergic reaction that happens in the eyes, nose, and throat. It is brought about by allergens that triggers the release of histamine. Now, allergens are normally harmless, but in a person with allergies, the body thinks these allergens are harmful, so the body attacks them. Special cells in the body, known as mast cells, releases histamine and other chemicals. Now, this release of histamine causes itching, swelling, and fluid to build up in the nasal passages, sinuses, and eyelids. It can also happen in the lungs, causing an asthma attack, such as coughing and wheezing. Now, allergic rhinitis can happen in a seasonal basis or all year round. And usually, in a person with allergic rhinitis has a family history of allergic rhinitis, eczema, and asthma. We talked about allergens, which triggers an allergic reaction. Examples of allergens are pollen from trees, grass, and weeds. Other allergens include dust mites, molds, cockroach waves, and animal dander. Now, what are the risk factors for allergic rhinitis? Children with other allergic diseases such as asthma, eczema, and food allergies are at greater risk of having allergic rhinitis. Also, 8 out of 10 children with asthma have allergic rhinitis. And in these children, allergens are a common cause of asthma attack. And also, children whose parents have allergies are at greater risk of developing allergies. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of allergic rhinitis? Each child might experience the symptoms of allergic rhinitis differently. Common symptoms include sneezing, runny nose, stuffy nose, itchy eyes, nose, throat, and some have nose bleeding or clear drainage from the nose. Children with symptoms of allergic rhinitis all year round might experience frequent ear infections, snoring, some might have trouble in school, some might not be doing well because of disturbed sleep, and some might have this line across the bridge of the nose from frequent wiping or scratching the itchy nose. How do doctors diagnose allergic rhinitis? Well, the diagnosis is based on the doctor obtaining a full history and a physical examination on your child. During the exam, the doctor might find dark circle around the eyes, creases under the eyes, and swollen tissue in the nose. At this point, the doctor might also refer you to an allergist for skin testing. Now for treatment. Treatment for your child's allergic rhinitis would depend on your child's symptoms, age, and general health. It would also depend on how severe the allergic rhinitis is. Treatment options include antihistamines, nasal sprays, decongestants, medications for asthma, and sometimes allergy shots. Now, what are the ways of preventing allergic rhinitis? We can prevent allergic rhinitis by avoiding triggers, which are the allergens. So, we try to control the environment by air conditioning during pollen season, 
avoiding areas with heavy dust mites and molds, and also avoiding pets. Alright, that's the end of our video. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed watching. I'll see you on the next video. Hi! I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?